Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how Neo Stock could become a Millionaire Maker Stock Part 3. So make sure to watch the other ones if you haven't already. And today we are going to talk about Robo Taxis. So Robo Taxis has always been somewhat of an interest for Neo. They talked about it in 2019 and all the way up to now. And that's the ultimate goal of most autonomous driving software companies. You can see it with Baidu, you can see it with Mobileye and Waymo. And even Tesla has said that their ultimate goal is to do Robo Taxis. So NEO has also said that that's something that they will look into and have always kind of been wanting to invest more into it, right? That's why they have started their own autonomous driving software division. So let's talk about how this would be implemented, right? Because that's actually the most important thing. So I believe that they should make this an addition into the NEO app already. So the existing NEO app should be the only NEO app that there is, right? There shouldn't be another app for autonomous driving or robot taxis or charging right it should all be in the neo app so then you don't have to go on a different app so that means that people will stay on the existing app which is very good you want the retention of users to be as high as you can and therefore implementing every service into the app is just very good so how would the actual robot taxi service look like right so they have essentially two ways to do this and I believe that it will probably be a combination of both. So the first one would be to allow NEO users to sign up uh, their cars right, for this service. So for example, if I work from nine to five, then I don't need the car, right? So I could just sign up my car for those hours and then it would just drive automatically and drop people off where they need to be. And then it would be like a profit sharing agreement with NEO. So maybe it's 50-50, maybe 80-20, I don't know. But that's actually possible with NEO because of the battery swap technology. For example, Tesla couldn't do that because you need to charge, right? And the chargers don't automatically go in the car. However, with Neo, the entire process could be automated, right? They just go in the battery swap station, they change the battery, and then they keep going. So this would help Neo users actually make a little bit of extra money, which will always be appreciated, right, by Neo users. So that's the first way to do it. Another way would actually be that they all are NEO owned vehicles. Now this is going to be the most expensive way to actually introduce the Robotaxi service. And I believe that that's why they should do a combination of both. Because Robotaxi service takes a long time to actually generate your money back, right? It takes a long time to actually get your money back. So therefore it would be way more efficient to allow existing NEO cars or NEO owners to sign up their own car and make an additional source of income. The main concern I hear from people when I tell them this idea is what if they vandalize my car? What if they destroy my car? What if they spill coffee in my car? What happens then? And I really don't think that that's such a big issue because you have cameras inside the car, right? And Neo can see it too. So you can just tell Neo, hey, something has happened to my car and then they can review the footage and then determine whether or not it was the passenger that actually destroyed the car or maybe you did it. So I actually think that the risks are minimal in terms of the car and in terms of people destroying the car. But it is something to keep in mind that, that could happen. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Please like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.